Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate, LLC. You can reach me at the office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, this is uh, 5 Kingsbury Lane in Dedham. This is a nine-room, four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath colonial two-car attached garage, as you can see. Uh, it's 2,630 square feet of living area. It's on a 0.62 acre lot. And we're going to go take a look at that backyard, which is really, I think, the selling point of the property. The backyard is... Uh, I, do, I usually don't use the word spectacular in real estate uh, because it's overused. But in this case, I really believe it. So uh, we're going to go take a look. All right, so I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, but you know how it goes. Uh, these, this is a bigger house. So Kingsbury Lane is off of Harmony Hill Road. Small road in Kingsbury Lane. You're looking at it right here. Okay. Uh, there's two houses on Kingsbury Lane. This house here and this house here, which is under agreement currently. Okay. Um, all right. So... So let's go take a look. Uh, on the exterior here, you got all sod, okay? You got a uh, sprinkler system. You got some nice uh, stonework out here, some nice brickwork. All right. And we're walking right into the front hallway. Can't really see too well. Well, I guess you can. Uh, that's a spot for a chandelier. This is a really high. Uh, foyer here, okay? I think we'll walk right into the kitchen, which is sort of, you know, everybody wants to see the kitchen. It's the nicest uh, feature. It's the feature that sells the house. Uh, really nice kitchen. Gas, uh, gas cooking, center island kitchen here. Okay, probably I would say enough for about three seats. Hardwood floors in the kitchen. Um, that's going to be over the stove. Is going to be a hood, which will uh, vent directly to the exterior, okay? Um, as I said, there's your dishwasher there, uh, refrigerator, okay? That's a little extra eating area over there, all right? Um, you know, four-seater, or you can really do whatever you'd like to do with it. So, got a lot of options. And then you have direct access to the backyard uh, through a slide right there, okay? So let's head over into the living room. You got a gas fireplace. You got some sconces here. By the way, there's an awesome, really nice... Uh, um, um, Oh boy. Crown molding, thank you, in this house. Uh, recessed lighting is in the living room here, and again, you have the hardwood floors. All right. So there's the gas fireplace. And so this living room is right off of that front door, which we just walked through, okay? So anyway, sorry about that. We're going to walk into the dining room here, and the really nice thing about this dining room uh, the nice feature that I like is the coffered ceiling. Uh, it really pulls the room together. Uh, you also have the chair rail and the, sort of the wainscoting here as well, which is really nice. Uh, so it's a really nice uh, dining room here, okay? All right. So we are also going to go take a peek here at the bathroom on the half bathroom on the first floor here, okay? Granite countertop, all right. So, all right, so you get a uh, tile floor down here as well. Uh, you got a coat closet right here. We won't, we won't open the door there. Got a nice little uh, mud, sort of mud area here, you know, coming right off of the garage, all right. That's for all of your shoes and your jackets, all the kids, if you have any kids, uh, or if you have some neighbor's kids come over, that's where they're gonna put them, so. I guess we'll go upstairs here before we go down to the basement and we'll take a look at this, the rest of this property here, okay? We're going to start on the right front of the property, the bedroom in the right front of the property. Uh, you get a, 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 excuse me, telephone and cable in all of the bedrooms, all right? There's your access to the attic right there in this bedroom. Okay, hardwood floors. All right, so, all right, so we're now in the right rear 
of the property as you were looking at it from the front of the house. And you got tons of closet space in these, in these bedrooms, okay? Uh, I guess we'll take a little sneak peek at the backyard, I guess, from here. And the deck as well, so. All right, really nice. So, okay, so let's go take a look at the bathroom here, the main bathroom on the second floor. You got a double sink here, nice, nice big uh, vanity here. I love the uh, flooring, the tile flooring here. All right, full bath, full shower, okay. And you got a, uh, you have a, uh, Linen closet in this bathroom as well. Again, we're not going to open the door. All right, so let's walk next door from that bathroom, and we're going to go to the laundry room, tiled laundry room. All right, this is in the rear middle of the property, really. There's your electric hookup. There's your vent to the exterior. There's your wash and dryer hookup. Okay. And now we're going to walk to the front middle of the property, and here is your, I guess, another bedroom here. Okay. As you can see, this is the we're looking at the front middle of the property here. All right, so um, lots of privacy here, tons of privacy. Okay, so um, all right. So anyway, again, another another big set of double closets here in this uh, bat uh, in this bedroom here. Okay, sorry guys. All right, my arm is getting tired. <laughs> So hardwood floors again, so, all right, uh, gr uh, this is a great feature. This is the master suite we're walking into. I guess we'll walk right into the master bathroom with the double sinks here again. All right, granite countertops. And then we'll see here uh, the jacuzzi tub, really nice. I think you can fit two in there. A little snug, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be in a jacuzzi tub, right? Uh, stand-up shower, tiled stand-up shower in the master, okay, recessed lighting, uh, and here's your backyard view again from the master, uh, the master uh, bathroom, okay. Uh, here's another coat closet, again, we're not going to open that. Uh, you do have two walk-in closets here, but we'll get to those in a second. Here's your master suite, I'm sorry, your master bedroom, I guess, part of your master suite. You got cathedral ceilings. You have um, recessed lighting in here again. Okay, really, really, really big um, hardwood floors. And over there is your sitting area. Uh, you can really do it. You know, do what you want with that. That's a that's a big space over there. All right. So we'll look in this walk-in closet. We're at the left rear of the property, by the way. Okay. So walk-in closet. None of the shelving has been put up yet. Okay but you get the sense of what's going on with that. All right, uh, there are two zones of central air in this property and two zones of heat, which it's forced hot air, which is really good because, uh, you know, when you're sleeping at night, you just shut the central air or the heat off downstairs and vice versa uh, when you're awake uh, during the day. All right, so we are gonna head down into the basement and um, the basement's not finished, but the good news with this basement is that this basement has a French drain system installed, uh, which a lot of builders don't do. So if, you, you know, if you're worried about water in the basement, I mean, that's, I mean, French drain system is as, is as good as it gets. Uh, you can see all the insulation here. It's uh, fiberglass bats. And you can see that there's also some styrofoam, blow, uh, you know, not blown in, but uh, sprayed uh, styrofoam. All right, back here is a spot for a um, sump pump. If you ever want to install a sump pump, I guess you could always ask the, uh, uh, the builder to uh, install that as well. Uh, that's part of the, that's part of the um, French train system as well. Over here is your hot water tank, and you can see it's huge. Uh, here's the access to the rear, the bulkhead here, okay? All right. Uh, here's your heating system, okay? Uh, you can see all the ductwork here and, you know, it's all forced hot air. Up front there, you can see your electrical panel. You can see uh, it's 200 amp uh, circuit breakers. 
Uh, you can see your water that goes to the town, your water meter there. Uh, that's your uh, sewer pipe, okay? You might have noticed three sewer pipes in the front yard. Those will be cut, um, and uh, but those are required by by law to have those uh, clean outs, all right? So that's what we're looking at here on the inside, all right? Let's head out to the backyard. And although I like this house, I love this house, I think it's a great house. Uh, for me, um, the backyard is what really sells it, quite honestly. I mean, it's really secluded. Uh, here's your deck here as well, if you ever want to have some picnics. Uh, pressure treated, and you've got a walkway, uh, a raised walkway to the backyard, okay? So, uh, again, this is all sod, just laid down. Holy crap. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Spider. I'm going to have to go through your web here. Wow. That's a good web. Where's the spider? <laughs> all right, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, so this backyard is awesome, uh, you know, great for like a uh, little soccer, a little wiffle ball, you know, really whatever you want to do. And uh, we're going to turn around here and take a look at the house from the very back here of the lawn. All right. So gets you really a sense of how big the backyard is. Okay. Alright. So you get a lot of tree cover. You know, of course, you might be able to see the neighbors a little bit more in the fall and the winter. But in the summer, I mean, geez, you can hardly see any of the other uh, the neighbors from, from back here. Last thing we're going to do here is we're going to walk into the garage just to finish up this uh, this video and uh, show you that. So it's really not much to see. It's you know standard garage, I guess. So let's go take a peek does have a bunch of the worker stuff in here still. Don't worry about all that stuff. It'll all be removed. Okay. Nice big high ceilings. Two garage, uh, electric garage door openers. All right. So, and then, you know what I'll do just to put this all together? I'll show you where this goes, where this leads into. All right, so this leads into that half bath that we saw at the very beginning of the, uh, of the video. Okay. And it also leads to the, uh, to that mud area. Okay. And then to the kitchen here. All right. So, so that's that. Okay. We're going to head out of here. We're going to finish this up. All right, so anyway, this is 5 Kingsbury Lane in Dedham. It's a nine-room, four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath colonial. Um, I do have plans. Um, just contact me, email me, call me, whatever you'd like to do, and I can email them to you. Um, it's done. I mean, there's, it's 98.5% done little tidbits need to be finished off but that'll be done quickly so all right thank you so much for watching this video i apologize for the length of time that it took to finish it but uh, that's how it goes sometimes with these bigger houses so all right so five kingsbury lane in dedham um thank you for watching uh, this video uh this is jonathan bowen with jonathan bowen real estate llc you can reach me at the office at 855-879-4663 again 855-879-4663 or on the web at www.bowenboston.com and that's www.bowenboston.com all right take care bye bye